What up everybody? Back here with another vlog. Just got off work. Thought I'd update you on the goings on today. Uh, it's a pretty chill day for the most part, minus the typical annoyances related to certain individuals, but it's all good. Um, so I think I'm finally coming to terms with the fact that I don't need three vehicles here. I mean, I have four, but coming to terms with the fact that I don't need three vehicles here in LA that I'm hardly driving. So, uh, put my, uh, put my Lexus up, my 92 Lexus up for, uh, on off road. Been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of messages about it. So yeah, I mean, I think it's just that day. It's that time. You know, I've finally come to grips with the fact, you know, I've had my, I had my time with it. It was fun, but at the same time, I just, I don't need it. I'm not using it, you know, not to mention the money would be helpful in, you know, in putting different avenues, pay off some debt, for instance. So got this guy coming to see the car. Well, he told me he was going to get off work around six o'clock. So I would imagine, you know, we meet in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. This is a tough one for me because if you know me, you know I love my cars. I get sentimental with them. So, man, if I had just all the room in the world, all the space in the world, like I would just keep them. I'll just keep it. But I'm paying $150 a month for a parking space right now in my apartment. And it's just, you know, that's $150 I can go somewhere else on top of the, you know, the $3,500 I'm asking for the car. So. The market's up right now in used cars with all those chip shortages and manufacturers um, delays and whatnot. So the used car market's popping and I got a lot of interest and this dude didn't seem all too reluctant to, you know, understand that my price was firm on the car. And it is. I'm not selling that car for a penny less than $3,500. So they can get that out of their mind right off the jump because that's got to be perfectly clear. I put that in the ad too. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he's a cool guy. I'd like to sell the car to a cool person instead of just some, this other, this younger kid hit me up and it seemed like all he wanted to do was slam it and do some petty shit. So I wasn't really a fan of that idea because the car it's from 1992, man. There's not a lot of these cars left. The exhaust sound is so sick. Um, so yeah. I'll put up a clip of the exhaust. Well, I'll, I'll tour the car real quick. Prior to getting an exhaust clip, cause you know, I'd like to remember for my own self. So I'll see you guys later. What up everybody? <clears throat> so this guy hasn't hit me up about the car. So it's whatever. Um, we'll see if he hits me up at all. But I also said that I was gonna take you guys for a tour of the car. So I'm going to go down to the garage, remember to bring my key, and then we'll do a walk around and uh, start it up. And you guys can hear the exhaust that I'm so in love with. It sounds so good. It's, it's one of the cleaner, it's one of the cleaner exhausts, stock exhausts that I've heard on a car. Beside, uh, you know, you car guys I know too, beside like a, a G35 or a G37 Infinity. Those sound super clean from the factory too. But I'm going to show you this. It sounds amazing. It's stock to the bone. Um, yeah, I love this car. Color wide bottom. You'll see why. We're coming up on her. It's my baby right here, man. It's really tough for me to even consider selling this car, but you know, I don't need four cars. I got another Lexus uh, GS300, which is my daily pretty much. Um, Oh, I got on some Rev9 coilovers. They're fairly affordable. I think like four, four, five hundred dollars. Got her lowered a little bit. Not too crazy. She's still drivable, but ooh, she looks so mean. Look at that. Look at that. Body's, you know, body's pretty straight. The paint's whatever, but ooh, look at that. That crackhead hit me at that uh that Stater Brothers parking lot. It ended up being a blessing in disguise, cause. I ended up getting a, a new bumper, a paint job on the bumper anyway. I should have just threw him a little cash and, to mix in the hood, but you know what? Whatever. Woo! Wide bottom. Love it. 
look at the interior real quick. The interior is kind of rough to be. Interior, I mean the exterior on it's a little rough, but same with the interior. I mean, she's from 1992. A little perspective, I'm 33 years old. I was born in 1987. So I'm not much older than this car, but you can tell, man, Lexus, Toyota just makes good stuff. Japanese people really know how to get down. Anyway, I'm going to put y'all down so you can get an exhaust, exhaust note. Put you down and get that exhaust note off this five liter one UZ. Oh, she sounds so silky. And that's the perfect word for this car too, is silky, because she's so smooth. I remember seeing the advertisements, the commercials they put out in the 90s when this motor came out. It was a Lexus LS with the same motor. Um, they, put a, they put a bunch of champagne glasses, or a champagne glass, or a quarter, and just balanced it on the head right here. And I mean, car purrs, check it out. I it. Smooth, honestly. Just put my hand on it. It's barely even vibrating. Barely. 107,000 miles. I got this sucker off Craigslist for 1,200 bucks off a 20 year old kid who probably didn't know what he had. 1,200 bucks. Did the timing belt, water pump, all that good stuff myself. A lot of work in this car. But, yeah, it's just time. I don't even have enough time to be driving it. I don't even drive it enough. So, I don't know how well you can hear that, but this car is, this motor, so smooth. Anyway, that's my bottom. If anybody else watched this, it doesn't really matter because the big reason I wanted to do this was for a, a memory for myself because I've sold cars before and loved them, obviously, because I'm real sentimental and then I never had any pictures with the car or nothing. So, I'm gonna set this camera down. Yeah, I'm gonna pose with my bottom real quick. I'm gonna look at the back side too. All right, well, that concludes the tour. I don't know when I'm gonna end up selling this car, but whenever it is, it's gonna be painful. But uh, yeah, see what happens. I'm gonna try to actually edit this video and uh, see how it turns out. But so far, man, I'm really, really digging this camera setup. And uh, I'm getting more and more comfortable with not giving a shit how I look if people happen to see me recording myself. I think that's one of the biggest hurdles about having this whole vlog thing, but hey, fuck it. Most of the time you're not even gonna see these people giving you out, so you do you, boo-boo. Alright, out.